So Inside Out 2, it was actually really fantastic. If you watch nothing else from this review, know that I'd give it a four and a half stars. It's the same rating I would give the first one. If you're a fan of the original, you will definitely like this one as well. If that's all you need to know, go see it. Now for me personally, Inside Out is one of my favorite Pixar films from the past few years, along with things like Coco and Luca. But I have to say, I was actually really skeptical about this one because I know that Pete Docter, the director of Inside Out 1, was not going to be the director of this one. Thankfully, him not being the director actually did not have a negative impact on the actual execution of the story. On the contrary, the people in charge of this one seem to have really gotten the idea correct about what it is that made Inside Out so good. And that's the concept of emotional complexity, which the original Inside Out explores and Inside Out 2 actually expands upon. So if you remember the main plot point of the first Inside Out, it's that Joy, the literal embodiment of happiness, has to understand that she is not the only valid feeling for Riley to have in response to different scenarios. And in fact, if the only response you're supposed to have to everything is happiness, then you create things like delusion and denial and bottling up emotions, which this one actually explores in a literal sense at one point. Anyway, in conclusion, this was a great film. I would highly recommend seeing it with family. Parents will especially enjoy it just as much, I think, as the original one. And yeah, four and a half stars. Inside Out, too. Way to go, Pixar.